When you think of Wonka, you think of foods that change color, change size, and change taste. When you are trying to recreate the Wonka foods, sometimes though the question isn't how do you change the taste of the food, it's how do you change your taste buds so the food tastes different. Some of you may have already heard about these. They are called a Miracle Berry. It's made up of the miracle fruit that's been dehydrated and ground down into a powder and then just put into a tablet format. It is natural, it's legal, but it does change your taste buds. Now, when I was researching about miracle berries, I was reading up on what type of foods they kind of recommend. I mean, if you're gonna have these berries, what do you wanna try because it changes so dramatically? The one thing I was reading is people were going, oh, you could skull a whole thing of vinegar or you could eat a whole lemon. The reality is, is that your taste buds are designed because your body doesn't want to eat that whole lemon and it definitely doesn't want to scald the bottle of vinegar. All these foods are finger food size, so you can kind of sample the different flavors without upsetting your stomach. So this is what we have. Deseeded red chilies, green apple, grapefruit, volivants with roasted tomato, thin slices of lime, cream cheese that's packed down into finger food cheesecake size bites because apparently this is what it tastes like with a sprinkling of coffee on top blue cheese with Dijon and walnut these are almond base with no sugar added with a cube of goat's cheese because apparently it tastes like frosting and just a sprinkling of cinnamon on top over here we have little bottles of lemon juice but mixed in with some mineral water so it's not straight lemon juice on the paddle board here, we've got cocktail onions, baby pickles, olives, celery, and also we have the little bottle of Tabasco sauce. Um, we have some toothpicks, so you can just take like just a little drop and taste it. And to finish off, we have like little servings of Guinness. Now, if you're a fan of Guinness, go right ahead and have a bottle. Uh, but if you aren't a fan of Guinness, they do say that apparently tastes like chocolate milkshake. So I've made like little sample sizes for everyone to try. All right, we're actually gonna try this. So I'll grab one of these berries. Now you aren't supposed to chew on it. You're supposed to just let it sit in your mouth and kind of roll it around your tongue so it's as covered as possible. Tastes fruity. So that berry is dissolved. It took a few minutes. So I've been dying to try the Guinness. So the first few times I put something into my mouth, I thought, oh, it hasn't really changed that much. It seems to really gradually build up. Very sweet. Next, cream cheese. You feel like you just want to keep having more. And this is why it's really important to have small samplings for just each person to try. Definitely the really sour stuff changes the most. It tastes like you're drinking lemonade. See, this is crazy. Celery I always find has that, well, that tangy sort of taste to it. It tastes completely plain. It's almost like it completely removes your flavor all together. The reality is though, is, you know, as much as this is awesome and fun, you realize how much you really wouldn't want to have those taste buds removed. I mean, I don't know whether you like Sour Patch Kids, but I love them. And all these foods that you think you enjoy because they have that, that sour or that saltiness, without those flavors, those foods become really quite bland. So the last one we're gonna try is a little dash of Tabasco. It's still hot, but it still has a bit of sweetness. But then, okay, no, it's still hot. Okay. Milk. Oh. Okay, if you are gonna put chilies, um, make sure you have a jug of milk nearby. It doesn't cut the heat. So there you go. These are a few of the samples that you can try. Um, you might want to have some other things on the side as well. You might want to have your chocolates and that way you can taste how super sweet things do get. But it is really recommended that you do these little bite-sized things because I mean, when I went and tried the lime, it would have been so easy to polish it off and then go and grab some more. If anyone else has any other ideas of different combinations or foods that you really need to try when you're on the Miracle Berry, please leave a comment below and I'd love to hear from you.